Can you imagine the JSU world in the palm of your hands? Our virtual campus tour shows you where you are and how to get where you're going. Campus news and events, sports scores and schedules, and the sounds of jazz with the touch of a button when you download JSU Go today. The JSU world at your fingertips. That's the new mobile app, JSU Go. Now available on the Android and iPhone. Good day to you. You are tuned to the AP award-winning and Jazz Week nominated WJSU. I am your host, Tanya Scott, and this is All Things Social, the entertainment and lifestyle segment that helps you explore the very best of happenings in Jackson and around the state. We also preview and review worldwide book, movie, and CD releases. From time to time, we give you tips to plan the perfect event, and we even share exciting volunteer opportunities with you. What are we discussing today? Well, you'll have to stick around to find out. We'll be right back. WJSU has upgraded its internet stream. Hear music and news on our website like never before. The crystal clear clarity of HD radio online at WJSU.org. Don't believe me? Then listen online at WJSU.org for music clarity akin to a CD. Go ahead. I dare you. And we're back with All Things Social on WJSU. On today's segment, we talk with Don Lewis, Vice President of 100 Black Men of Jackson, Mississippi, and Chairman of the 22nd Annual Scholarship and Mentoring Banquet. He's joining us today to speak with us about what's going on at The Village, the headquarters for the 100 Black Men of Jackson organization. Don, welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm glad to be here this morning. Don, tell me about the 100 Black Men of Jackson organization, and even more importantly, what it means to be a representative member of the 100 Black Men organization. 100 Black Men of Jackson was founded in Jackson, Mississippi in 1991 as a group of concerned black men who come together and want to change lives for the positive of young men without a father figure present in Jackson Public Schools. Today, we're in 10 Jackson Public Schools three elementary, three middle schools, and four high schools. Wow. Our mentees are um, ranged from third grade through seniors in high school, and 90% come from a single parent household where a father is not present in that household. We want to make a difference in those young men's life. Wow, I believe that you guys probably are. Tell me a little bit more about what you do inside of the schools. We do school-based mentoring at all of our 10 high schools. Principals, counselors select the young men for us. We go in each week, have lunch, and have a session with our young boys and try to change their influence on life. Awesome. That's great to hear. Sounds like a fabulous program. In case you're just joining us, this is All Things Social. We're talking today with Don Lewis, Vice President of the 100 Black Men of Jackson Organization and Chairman of the 22nd Annual Scholarship and Mentoring Banquet. He's talking with us about the great areas of service that the members provide, but also about an upcoming event happening Saturday, October 27th, 2012, at the Walter Payton Recreation and Wellness Center on the campuses of Jackson State University. The event is the 22nd Annual Scholarship and Mentoring Celebration, and the theme this year is the 100 as 1 Mission Cause Network, with guest speaker Dr. Cedric Gray, Superintendent of Jackson Public Schools. Don, share with our listeners why this celebration is so important. I like to think of the celebration as our report card back to the community. We invite our historical black colleges and universities, along with Heinz Community College, Piney Wood School, CMNI School, to come back and we give them each a scholarship in the amount of $2,000 to help some deserving young student who would not be able to continue their education without our support. Also, I like to think about this time as a time to tell the community what all we're doing in Jackson for the past year. We invite 13 of our young men to come and participate on the program. They moderate, 
give out the awards, do the entire program, and we want to let the community know what a positive impact that 100 black men of Jackson are making in our city and invite other men who are out there who are corporate executives or what have you join the organization and be a part of this mentoring program. That is fabulous. So they participate and take part and actually put the program on with you. They actually run the entire program except for the part when we thank our corporate sponsors. Other than that, our young mentees do a fabulous job representing the city and Jackson Public Schools. The 100 Black Men of Jackson is a nonprofit organization which African American males step forward to assume roles of community leadership, responsibility, and guidance. The 100 Black Men of Jackson, alone with the national organization, serves as a catalyst to empower African American people to individually and collectively reach their full potential through maximizing their resources to foster and enhance achievement in mentoring, education, health, and wellness, leadership and diversity, and economic development in their communities. Don, tell me how you got involved in 100 Black Men. 20 years ago, there was a newspaper article about 100 Black Men of Jackson and how they were making an impact to the young men that are in Jackson Public Schools. Saw the article, immediately called the number, asked for an application, got an application, completed the application, returned it back to their office and got an interview and they selected me to become a part of this prestigious group. So it's a selection process. No ma'am, it's an application process oh, where you apply. Okay. You apply and you get a member to recommend you and then we do a background check and then we will welcome you into the organization. So describe an ideal member for me for that individual that's uh, listening right now that feels that they would be able to add something wonderful to your organization. An ideal member would be anyone who can dedicate at least one hour a week to giving back to our community by mentoring to one of our students in grade 3 to 12 in Jackson Public Schools. We welcome them to come and join us. Wow. Well, I definitely think that it's an organization well worth us being a part of. I like to think so. Our membership is increasing by the day. We've almost reached that perfect number of 100 members, and we're recruiting actively. You know, we go into schools each week, and, and principals, students, everybody stop us and ask, can we be a part of the 100 Black Men of Jackson? We have only so many members and so many students we can work with. If we had new members, we'll be able to reach more kids, mentor more kids, and hopefully have more positive impact made to our students. Wow, well, everyone has heard that call. They need to definitely sign up and, and apply to be a part of 100 Black Men. And we welcome everyone to join us. Well, that's fabulous. The 100 Black Men Organization has awarded more than $500,000 in scholarships to deserving students and educational entities throughout Mississippi. For more information on how you can become a part of this fantastic organization or to purchase a ticket to this fabulous celebration, call 601-366-8301. Don, thank you for taking the time to stop by our All Things Social Studios and share this must-attend social event information with us. Thank you so very much. And we're looking for the people in and around Jackson, Mississippi, to please come out and support us in this worthwhile cause. Fabulous. I have certainly added it to my calendar, and I am looking forward to celebrating the achievements of everyone, both the mentors and the young mentees. You take care, and I'll see you there. Thank you very much. I look forward to having you there. That's going to do it for me, Tanya Scott, and All Things Social. Join us next week when we bring you the exclusive information on all things happening in Jackson and surrounding area. Until then, bye. Let me keep you company. Hi, I'm Meredith Michelle, host of Evening Jazz on FM 88. Join me weeknights from 7 p.m. to midnight and on Fridays from 8 p.m. to midnight for all of the best in your favorite evening jazz. Right here, only here, on Cool and Current, WJSU.